everyone, I'm Rafael Alvarez and I wanted to give you guys a quick, I guess this is a shop update video and give you kind of a walkthrough of the of the equipment that I'm, I've just recently acquired to try to improve the quality of the content that I'm bringing to you guys and just these are pieces to the puzzle on where this channel's going, the production quality that I'm trying to achieve and just give you guys a taste of it so that you know that I'm working towards bringing you guys better content and, and hopefully more frequently once everything is in its place. So, um, first thing you guys are gonna notice is the ILAC logo here in front of you. Um, kind of ignore that, it's really kind of this little picture frame thing that I've got going on is literally kind of just there to show you guys some of the capability of the, the software that I'm using and the programs that I'm using so that you guys can start to use your imagination on where this could go and what I'm hoping to see with this. So ILAC is going to be a part of this channel and as you guys can read, Inspiring Lives, at lives Activity and Creativity. Um, this is something that, that I created a few years back and the butterfly is significant to, you know, in memory of my mother because she was fond of butterflies and she passed away when I was a child. So um, that's personal to me. But the idea is with that is that's going to be a segment of the new U-Vision Media channel. Like Alvarez Metalworks will be a segment. Um, content specifically under uvision media so alvarez media will have content i like will have content whatever my podcast name ends up being is going to have content um so on so forth um if i choose and i could bring on people to host their own content under uvision media i can do that as well but we'll see i mean this is I'm trying to plan for the future and trying not to pigeonhole myself. Like I said in the last video, I want to be able to have the growth to be as big as I possibly want it to be under this YouTube channel. So onto the equipment. So I'm currently shooting this with my Panasonic Lumix G7 camera, which is a 4K camera. I'm shooting at 1080p right now, and the reason why I'm shooting at 1080p is because it's coming into this device right here. Um, and what this is, is it's called, it's a product made by Black Blackmagic Design, and it is called the ATM Mini. So, um, the ATM Mini is, base, Mini is basically a video switcher. Um, very high end at a consumer, I guess you can say, level pricing. This thing costs a little over $200. Its only real limitation is on buttons and inputs. But other than that, this thing does what all the high-end switchers that you see in, in broadcasting, you know, when they're shooting a live television show, this does those types of things. Um, it's got monitor outputs. Um, oh, one other thing it doesn't do is multi, um, multi monitor, multi camera monitoring. But there's ways that you can get around that. We're not going to talk about that. But anyways, it's got four inputs, all HDMI inputs. It's got two audio inputs. For those that don't know, HDMI is also transfer audio. So all these buttons up in here are all related to the audio side of this switcher. These four buttons here switch from camera two to camera one, camera two to camera one, camera two to camera one. Okay. And I'm literally just doing that on the fly. I'm recording this live. This is not going into any, any video recorder or excuse me, any video editing software at all. I'm recording this the same way you guys are seeing it. Okay. And that's the purpose behind this. I can do all these types of things in post-production. I can set up multiple cameras. I can get a screen capture software and record this. But the amount of work involved with doing that in post-production versus doing it on the fly with all this equipment is tremendously overwhelming. Okay, so my goal is to streamline this, create the best possible content, 
produce it in the best possible way as far as quality is concerned. And that's what this investment is for. It's really you guys are the benefactors of this because you're going to, you know, in the past, the only thing you, I was shooting with a cell phone or I was shooting with my Panasonic and I'm recording audio through my cell phone or through the Panasonic. I have an external mic on it and then I'm just doing some basic edits and, and Premiere Pro and that's what you guys got. This is going to help improve all that stuff. And even when I'm out in the shop, this is still going to help improve that, the, that video content. So anyways, to try to speed this thing up. Um, the next piece of equipment I have is what's in front of me is my Rodecaster Pro. And let me switch you guys over so you can see that. That's a better view of what this looks like. It has four microphone inputs. They're all XLR here on the back. They're all powered, so you can run mics that need phantom power. It has four, mic or four headphone outputs for each individual channel. So when you're watching these podcasts and everybody's got a set of headphones on, they're all monitoring what's going into the feed. So if I'm feeding like the intro music, they can hear that. If I'm doing a Skype connection through this, they can hear all of that. So, and this device here is capable of recording internally on micro SD. So there's some redundancy and I'll show you. I'm recording on my computer right now and not on the Rodecaster, but I can record on both. And we'll talk about that in a quick second. Um, it's outputting to my computer versus, via this USB device. And these two are for monitor output. So if you were using this in a situation where you needed um, powered speakers, <clears throat> that's what these are for. So in a situation like this podcast, they got a four microphone set up. They got four channels coming in. And... We have, let me show you here real quick. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, on the front of this, we have these other channels. This is a USB input for audio. Um, we can connect via 3.5 jack to your phone or anything else that would use that four contact connector that you typically use in your phone where it's got um, audio output and input. And then you got your, your Bluetooth connectivity. So if I wanted to, I can call somebody on my phone and bring in the audio straight into the Rodecaster and use that as part of what it is that I'm showing you guys. This slider here is for these buttons. It's a you know volume control form, not volume, but input control, level control. All these are pre-programmed buttons that you can program to play any kind of audio. My intro music, outro music, sound effects, fart noises, whatever you want, right? So this and this are inputting to a program called OBS. It stands for Open Broadcaster Software. This is free, 100% free. No ads, no gimmicks, no BS. It's open source. If you guys don't know what that means, look it up. Um, there are plugins and all sorts of things you can do with this. A lot of people that are streaming to Twitch, doing the video game streaming or other podcasts and things like that, they're using something like this. The next level up from this, I mean, there's various other software that does the same thing that you can pay for. But this setup that I have here, the next level up is going with what's called a TriCaster, which is what Joe Rogan uses on his um, podcast. It's thousands of dollars. It's very expensive, but very high-end broadcast stuff. I'm capable of doing all of what he does with my setup. It's just different and it's cheaper. <laughs> so um, this software is what I'm using. I'm not streaming from it, even though it's capable, I'm recording to it. So I'm recording on the fly live. So all my edits are going into this software. It's recording them and converting them over to an MP4 format, which I could take that file and upload directly to YouTube without this content ever hitting a video editing software. So that's basically my setup. I've got um, three microphones right now. I have, they're all this, which is your, your Rode, um, they call it the pod mic. It's not phantom powered, but it is XLR. It's it's a broadcast style microphone. Uh, you know, that's where you're getting that deeper tone. I got a little bit of a hiss that I got to figure out what's going on with. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but I think you can. My computer tower is under this desk, and I have a feeling it's 
resonating through the boom arm and into the microphone. But we'll figure that out once the studio gets all straightened out. Um, it's not terrible. And, you know, I've worked out a few other bugs. And I'll do some follow-up videos under another title that will show you guys how to set some of the software up and how to work out some of these things. I know this is not Alvarez Metalworks stuff, but I know there's a lot of you guys that are curious on how the whole behind the scenes system works with this. And this is what it is, okay? And I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. And you can either listen or you can not listen. <laughs> that's what it boils down to. So anyway, um, that's my setup. Um, oh. I said I was going to talk about the, the onboard recording with the, the Rodecaster Pro. So the ATM Mini doesn't do onboard or onboard recording. However, it does have, if you look here, this output is an HDMI output, and it's for a um, preview. I can take that output and bring it into a device such as uh, this Ninja, Ninja 5, it's an HDMI recording monitor. So it's a preview monitor, but it also records. Why I would want to do that is very simple. Redundancy. If I'm in the middle of doing a, a podcast with somebody, a guest that maybe they flew in or they drove in from out of town or whoever it is. I mean, they don't have the time to reshoot something if something goes wrong. This allows me, if I had that Ninja 5 device, and I do plan on getting one, just not right away, it allows me to have the ability to record all of the video content that is going through the ATM Mini onto that device. The Rodecaster would record, would record all the audio. So if my computer crashes, something goes down in the software side of things on the computer, I can take the video footage, I could take the audio footage, I can go into Premiere Pro, Pro, mix it down and salvage the content. So that's very important. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very key element to the production side of things. It's that, that redundancy that's going to help tremendously. And, you know, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you guys. Um, not forgetting anything, I don't think. So, yeah. I've got another camera coming. I did want to talk about that. I have another camera coming. I'm buying them used on purpose because they're, they're kind of expensive. Um, here's one on Best Buy. It's, it's listed at $500. Um, comes with a lens. It comes with the lens that I'm shooting this video with. But what it doesn't come with is what I'm getting with my used camera that I just ordered off eBay. Um, it doesn't have this. And what this is, is an external battery pack. Now, you can get these things off Amazon for fairly cheap, depending on the, the size of the battery. Um, but it's also got the cable adapter to go into the camera that looks like a battery, but it's got a cord coming out of it. It's got that. It's got a memory card. It's got a few other things. And all of that is what I need to make this work as a second channel going into the ATM Mini. And I'm going to do that two more times on top of that. So I want four of these cameras. So it's expensive. Um, I'm, you know, after tax and everything, because eBay charges tax, I ended up paying like 380 something for it. Um, to give you guys an idea, this thing over here, the ATM Mini costs a little over 200 bucks. The Rodecaster is 600 with no mics. Um, these pod mics that I'm recording into, they are $100 a piece. The mic stands are $100. You know, and then all the cabling and stuff like that. The stuff adds up super fast, but the cameras can break you. Because um, you have to have a lot, and preferably they're all the same kind. So, plus the studio build out. You know, there's a lot of money being invested into trying to bring you guys a better product. So, Ride this out with me. I promise you guys will, will, for the most part, at least appreciate the improvement. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the content as well. And, you know, we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, go like me on Instagram or follow me on Instagram. Um, it's under Alvarez Metalworks right now. 
that may or may not change, as well as Facebook, Alvarez Metalworks on Facebook. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's intro, or let's get the outro music on and get the hell out of here. So.